Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on Crack Concepts and in today's video we will be discussing the difference between aggregate functions and window functions. Window functions perform calculations across a set of table rows that are related to the current row. Unlike aggregate functions, example sum, average, minimum, min, max, count, window functions do not collapse rows. They retain individual row details while computing values based on a window of rows. To understand this definition better, I will explain it with, with an example. So this, this you will understand once I show you the example. But before that, let's see the syntax. So window function, whatever window function you want to use, brackets, over partition by column name. So you will write the column name by which you want to partition it and order by column name. So partition by divides rows into groups and order by defines the order of rows within each partition. So you will be partitioning the rows into different partitions and then what order you want uh, those partitions to be in. So whatever column name you want to order each partition by that will be written here. So let's understand window functions and aggregate functions and the difference between the two with an example. So here is the table that I've created. The table name is students and these are the values in the table and I've selected the table students. So these are the names Rachel, Ted, Robin, Barney, Jonna, Amy and these are the department IDs 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2 and these are the salaries 100, 200, 300, 100 and uh, 1000 and 10, 3000, 2000 and these are the genders. Now let's write an aggregate function. Select, um, let's say sum of salaries, sum of salaries for each department ID. So I will write sum, select sum of salaries from the table students. Group by department ID and I will also select the department ID so for each department these are the sum of salaries let's write maximum salary insta let's find out the maximum salary for each department ID so for department ID 1 the maximum salary is 3000 and for department ID 2, the maximum salary is 2000 and let's also find out name. So this is returning the name of the student which is having the maximum salary for each department. Now I understand that students don't really have salaries. This should have been named employees instead but let's just ignore that anyway. So. Yes, so it is returning student, the department ID and the maximum salary. This is collapsing the rows. This is collapsing the rows. But what if I want the name of all the students and their salaries and also maximum salary in their respective departments so that I can compare what is the difference between the salaries, between the salary of that student and the maximum salary in that department. How can I do that? Because I cannot do that using aggregate function because aggregate functions collapse the rows. As you can see, only two rows are retur returned over here. So in that case, I will be using window functions. Maximum salary over partition by what partitions do we want? What do we want to group, group them by? department ID because I want maximum salary for each department maximum salary over partition by department ID you can add an order by but in this case we do really do not need to order it by anything because we just need maximum salary from each partition and let's give it an alias and I will also select salary over here we do not need this and let's run it. So now the number of rows have been retained. The, the rows are, have not collapsed because we are using window functions. So as you can see, Rachel, department ID 1, 
so as you can see all the department ids are grouped together are in single partition so the first three are in department number one and these are their respective salaries 100 300 3000 and these are the maximum salaries in their respective departments so the maximum salary in department one was 3000 so it is against each row each student then we have the second partition which is department id 2 here they have their respective salaries 200 10 10 2000 and this is their maximum salary in that in that department which is 2 so this is how window functions can be utilized wherever you want to keep all the rows while calculating values while calculating let's say average or maximum minimum this can also be helpful in calculating running totals moving averages and when you want to compare each row to a group group average or group total this will be helpful window functions is helpful whenever you want to keep all the rows while you want to calculate be it anything whether you want to rank it or you want to calculate min max average count this is helpful so this is the major difference between window functions and aggregate functions so there are three types of window functions ranking functions aggregate functions value functions there are three types of window functions ranking functions aggregate functions value functions so in ranking functions we have rank dense rank row number in aggregate functions we have sum average count min max so you can use aggregate functions as window functions as well and we have value function which is lag lead first value last value if you want to understand each one of these better i have separate videos for all of them so i will make sure to link it in the description box do check it out now if you want to understand when you should be using a window function or when you should be using an aggregate function here is a table that i have i've created for you all so these are the scenarios and where you can use aggregate functions where you can use window functions so if the scenario is where you want to summarize data into fewer fewer rows you will use aggregate functions but where you want to keep all the rows as is while calculating values then you can use window functions over there over there as you have already seen in the example that window functions you can keep all the rows and still you can calculate total average or whatever values you want to create but in case of aggregate functions it will summarize it into fewer rows then computing total average per group that you can do in aggregate also that you can do in window functions also if you want to use ranking functions then you should be using window functions running totals or moving averages you want to calculate then also you should consider window functions if you want to compare each row to a group average basically where you want to keep all rows while calculating or comparing it to the group group average or group total then also you can you should be using window functions window functions is wherever you use over and aggregate functions wherever you use group by i hope this was clear and if you like the video make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and comment down check out our sql ebook check out our other videos related to window functions i will make sure to link all the window function related videos in the description box also uh, i have solved a lot of lead code problems so do check that out as well as practicing more and more problems will help you in mastering sql so do check out the description box and also check out our sql ebook check out our sql playlist check out our other playlist dbms playlist python tableau power bi and a lot of other playlists check it out and with that i will end this video thank you so much for watching